Wow, y'all. Wow, wow, wow. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Whoa, 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 whoa. School just started back. Summer is officially over for the children. And Georgia has another mass shooter. Oh, my goodness. That this this is this is and y'all 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 America, when your kids have been desensitized and they begin to behave in manners of love their like their parents and other um deranged adults that are in their scope, this is the kind of behavior that comes out. So this student name is Colt Gray. He's only. 14 freaking years old, y'all. And he's been named as the Georgia High School Shooter. Oh, wow. The, um, man. The mass shooter who deleted two students and two teachers. Oh, my heart go out to the school first and foremost. And the students that had to witness this. And... There's families of those who are gone. And this happened in Winder, Georgia on Wednesday morning. Oh, my goodness. The high school, which is home to around 1,900 students, is 25 miles west of Athens, Georgia. Nine victims were taken to hospitals with gunshot injuries, according to the Georgia Bureau of Investigation. This is, this is insane. This is insane, people. The shooter, the shooting was reported at 10.23 a.m. this morning, and Gray surrendered to police when he was apprehended. Really? Colt Gray is a 14-year-old student who attended Apache High School, according to authorities. This is insane, y'all. It's insane. We have two students dead and two teachers dead. Oh, my goodness. The first victim of the Apache High School shooting has been identified as 14-year-old Mason Shermerhorn. The victim's family told Channel 12 that Shermerhorn was an autistic boy. And was among four people killed when a shooter opened fire on them. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Uh, the student says. The student says she sat next to Colt minutes before he opened fire. So there was a junior at the school named uh, Laila. Say Raph, she said that she sat next to Cole Gray in the algebra class minutes before he began to open fire with this shooting spree. She told CNN that Colt left the classroom at the beginning of their class at around 9.45 a.m. Around half hour before active shooter alerts were sounded. Gray didn't take a bathroom pass, she said leading her to initially think he was merely skipping class. Before a loudspeaker announcement told teachers to check their emails. Shortly after, Sarah said that Gray returned outside their classroom and went to open the door for him before jumping back at the sight of the gun. I guess he saw we weren't going to let him in, and I guess the classroom next to me, their door was open, so I think he just started shooting in that classroom, she said. She went, uh, she said that he proceeded to fire off a number of bullets, one after another after another, and added, when we heard it, most people just dropped to the floor and kind of like crawled in the area, like piled on top of each other. Saber said that she and her friend Said, I mean, said her friend was in the next room class 
and witnessed someone being shot, which left him totally shaken up. I, I'm sure. You know, y'all, listen to this. I, 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 I have never seen a, a, a world so crazy where our kids going to school and dying. The kids are getting the safest place we used to think we could send our kids to. Place to learn, get their education, get a little of their social life on. Now it's becoming a place that you don't know if they ever going to come home from. He saw somebody get shot and he had blood on him. He was kind of lipping, looking horrified, she added. Uh, Barry, Barrow County Sheriff Judge Smith gave an impassioned speech about the shooting in an evening press conference. I never imagined that I would be speaking to the media in my career over the pure evil that happened today. This hits home for me. I was born and raised here. I went to this school. Uh, my kids are, uh, go to this school system. I am proud of this school system. My heart hurts for these kids in this community, but hate will not prevail in this country. I want that to be very clear and known. Love will prevail over what happened here today. I will, sure, uh, re, I will assure you that it will. Wow. Oh, wow. Wow. He shot 13 people before giving up, y'all. Barrow County Sheriff Judge Smith again confirmed at a late press conference that Gray was confronted by two school resource officers inside Apache High Apple Apple Apache. <laughs> Shoot, excuse me. High school for butchering that. Minutes after opening fire, Gray immediately surrendered. He gave up, got on the ground, and Shooter took him into custody. What? He gave up, got on the ground, and was taken into custody. I'm sure that's what that means. He had, by that point, injured nine people and killed four. Two teachers and two students. So the schools, of course, are going to be closed for the rest of the week. and uh, Giving these families time to pick up their lives and get past somewhat the trauma that was inflicted upon them by this crazy kid. I mean, um, enough is enough and too much stink. Wow, I can't believe this. Oh. Oh my goodness. <coughs> anyway. I want to know what y'all think about this. Anybody got any information more? Please send it to my email. Oh gosh. Leave a comment below. That would be even better. And let's deal with this thing, with these kids. And the school just started, and they already killing each other. I'll see y'all in the next video. If you like what you hear, subscribe to the channel. Thank you.